Welcome back my friends, nice to have you here on Will Edutech. Now in this video we'll be looking at question 11c part 2 on our May 2011 CSEC past paper questions and solutions uh, edition. Now here they have, they have given us a statement that R is the midpoint of VW. So quickly we can just go ahead and establish that. Uh, we have looked at in the previous video that this length was V to W. Okay. Now since R is a midpoint here you notice I have divided the length VW into two equal parts by coloring there in red and I have placed my R there to suggest that well this point is R halfway between V and W. Now here they're asking us to prove that R, S and X are collinear and that's an easy three marks okay now what collinear means and uh, let me just get my pencil quickly this word here let me underline it in let me use a green to underline it okay collinear collinear simply means uh points that lies on a straight line so what they are saying we should prove that r s and x lies on a straight line okay my friends now let, let's just quickly prove that to prove that three points, these three points are collinear or simply means that they lie on a straight line. And let me just get my pointer quickly and draw that line, my pencil rather. So here I am at R. Okay. So from R, if I should draw a straight line and let me change my pencil. If I should draw a straight line going through S, going straight up to X, okay, along that path along this path if, if a line should be drawn from x to r then it would pass through s okay so if you notice if this is a straight line all the points would lie on that line so that's what they're asking us to prove now to prove that uh, th these three points lie on a straight line simply what we're going to have to do we're just going to have to find out if the distance from r to s and the distance from s to x if they are proportionally related and by proportionality i mean that they share a ratio okay so simply i'm just going to find the ratio of r to s and the ratio of s to x and that will prove that these two line that these three points lies on a straight line or they are collinear okay my friends good and another quick point to note if they are collinear and meaning that they lie on the straight line uh, the, the distance from R to S would be simply a multiplier of the distance from S to X. Uh, that's just another way of expressing it. Okay, just wanted to be familiar with the terms. Now here, if you notice, I have uh, made note of my previous answers in, in and these answers were were derived or were taken from the previous video so if you're not sure how we arrived by these answers you could always check the previous videos in the playlist okay that's part two one and two okay where we derive these answers now quickly let's get into it because we're going to need these values for to prove uh, that r s and x are collinear now, if you notice in the previous lesson, we had found the distance from S to X. We had we had we have an expression that represented that distance. And if you notice here, we have S to X. OK, and that was one third of two A plus B. OK, so since we have that distance already that was calculated in the previous exercise, then it simply means then I I need to find the distance R to S and then we'll make some comparisons. OK, so if I am at the point R and I want to reach the point S, then I would have to go all the way to W and then from W to S. Okay, so let's look at that quickly. Now, what I'm saying in part two, first I must find, first I must find my distance R, R to S. Okay, that distance there. Good, so R to S would be equal to, well, since R is the midpoint, then R would then from R to W would really be uh, V to W divided by 2 because it is halfway the distance of V to W. Okay, hope that makes sense. Now, and then I would be adding to that W to S. Okay, okay, W S. So the distance RS is expressed here. So quickly we can just by substitution then say then that this 
should be equal to. We know that V to W, this point here, point V to W can be denoted as B. So really what I'm taking is a is a half of B, okay? So I can say B divided by 2, and I've just, the B here represents, it's still the same as VW by substitution, and I'm saying I'm adding to that, and if you notice, W to S, we had already found what W to S was in the in the previous lesson and this is it w to s that we have here and w to s was really i'm adding one third of a minus b because that's what we had gotten for w to s so here we have our expressions quickly let's just simplify uh, this can be re rewritten as b over 2 and now i'm adding and we know that to multiply by one third is the same as dividing by 3 so i can say this is the same as a minus b all over 3. Now if you notice here we have fractions, algebraic fractions to calculate so I can just simply find my LCD, my lowest common denominator which is 6. Okay my friends, so 2 into 6 goes 3 times so I'm multiplying my numerator by 3 so B times 3 will give me a 3B and I'm adding to that now 3 into 6 goes 2 times so really what I'm doing I'm multiplying the 2 by my numerator and my 2 is A minus B. Okay so really what I would have from this is 3b, 3b, 2 times a, this is what I'm doing, let me just get my pointer, I'm saying 2 times a, which is 2a, and then I'm going to say 2 times negative b, which is negative 2b, so I would have a, 2 times a first would give me a plus 2a minus negative minus 2b rather my bad good <laughs> so all of this is over 6 now my friends so basically when we simplify this all right we know that 3b minus 2b will give me a b so i would really have right here b plus 2a all over 6 okay and and that basically would be the distance from r to s all right so therefore i can make a statement now therefore and let me change my color to write my answer so that you can see clearly the distance r s okay r to s is equal to since the 6 is in the denominator i can just multiply by 1 6 okay 1 6 of 2a and i'm just turning it around putting the a first um it's the same thing plus b okay so th this is my distance from r to s so now let's check the ratio of the distance r to s and the ratio of s to x which we had there okay good and let me just pause a bit before I move any further just to explain because maybe some persons may be wondering how did I move from here this answer to get my answer here okay so let's just explain that quickly remember uh, I had a 3b so all I did was to collect like terms remember I had a 3b and I'm looking at this 3b there and I just collect like, ter like terms so I had a negative 2b right there negative 2b plus 2a okay that's what I had so simply what I did and all of that was over 6 right so simply what I did 3 minus 2 would leave us with 1b okay and I have a 2a so these are unlike terms okay just wanted to express that to make sure that persons were clear as to how I move from this point here this point here to get to that point there okay hope that was helpful now let's just finish this uh, now we have our answer here this is my answer there that I've gotten for the distance R to S. So now, what we are proving is that the distance R S, and let me change my color so that we can see it much clearer. So I can say R to S, I'm checking if there is a ratio. What's the ratio of R to S to 2? And my next point would be S to X, okay? and why am I using these? Because I am checking to see if my distance from R here to S is proportionally related to the distance S to R, which simply means that they share a common ratio. Okay, so now if you notice, I am saying this now is equal to, this is equal to, and my distance R to S, let me take that expression, which is 1, 6. 1, 6 of 
open bracket 2a plus b okay let me write that better 2a plus b close bracket and that is all over and if you notice I'm going to take my expression for s to x which is s to x is one third of 2a plus b which is that that value that I had in my from my previous video and I'm saying it's in the ratio oh oops before I draw my line okay before I make that comparison let me write it as a ratio okay the ratio of one third of 2a plus b okay now if you notice r to s is in the ratio of s to x and r to s we had simplified our expression to get 1 6 of 2a plus b which we have here and if you notice the colon is there and I have one third of 2a plus b right there which represents s to x which we took from where it is s to x one third yes here it is one third of 2a plus b cool so now we know that we have ratios so basically you can we can divide the ratios okay so for example this is at the front so I can say r to s okay and the ratio means to divide okay divide and I'm dividing by s to x okay my friends and that is equal to since r to s is 1 6 of 2a plus b I can put that at the top so I'm saying that's 1a oops let me just change this 1 6 rather of 2a plus b close bracket and since I'm dividing this is at the top then I'm saying divided by divided by one third and let me just pull this up a bit let me just pull this up a bit one third of 2a plus b okay of 2a 2a plus b close bracket we know that simply we're dividing so basically um, since 1 6 is multiplying 2a plus b and 1 third at the top and 1 third is multiplying 2a plus b at the bottom simply we could cancel out those two so we could say this is equal to really 1 over 6 and I'm just going to say divided remember uh, this straight line here simply means to divide so I can say divided by 1 upon 3 now we know that when we're dividing fractions uh, it's the same as multiplying by the reciprocal so the number at the front the fraction at the front stays change the division sign to multiplication and we can just simply flip that at the back okay so basically what I have here is 3 into itself once 3 into 6 goes 2 so really we have left here 1 times 1 is 1 upon two okay so really what is happening here my friends and let me just pull this up a bit let me just pull this up a bit so that we have the space to work with here really what we're saying here now is that is that s r to s r to s so i can say therefore therefore and let me change my color therefore r s r to s okay is proportionally related to s to x okay s to x which is equal to if you notice we have a 1 upon 2 so the number at the top would represent r to s so that goes first 1 okay 2 and if you notice s to x was at the bottom so the number at the bottom represents s to x which is 2 so the ratio really is a 1 to 2 ratio so r to s is one part and s to x is two parts so therefore we can now state then that at all three points since since r to s is proportionally related to s to x then all three points are collinear meaning that they lie on a straight line so let me just make my statement by pausing the video so there we have it guys our statement uh, both the points r s and x are collinear meaning they lie on a straight line because the distance x to x is equal to two times the distance r to s okay and it's it's clear here r to s is one part s to x is two parts all right and we can always just go back to our diagram and see what they're saying here here's the diagram okay so basically what they're saying here now let me just change the color quickly to show you what is happening they're saying from 
R to S is one part. From R to S, that, that would be one part. So let me just write it there, one part. And then basically from S to X is two parts. So we're dividing this into two equal parts. So that would be the second part, second part. And this would be the third part, okay? That's simply what they're saying. So the, the these three points lies on the on this straight line because the distance r to s is simply a multiplier of the distance from s to x okay hope that was helpful and see you in the next video bye bye feel free however to subscribe or you can like us on facebook or if you have any comments or question on the particular uh, topic you can always feel free to post bye bye